Here is the blueprints for making it online. Okay, and it's very, very simple. You just create and launch products. Okay, and then once you have all those customers, all these buyers on your list, you promote affiliate products. And then you just continue to do that process. You rinse and repeat. You just keep creating products and promote affiliate products because one of the byproducts of creating products is that you grow a list and it makes you a better affiliate marketer because you are getting a responsive list of buyers okay so the next few videos I'm gonna give you more details about this blueprint alright so before you go ahead and start selling something you have to find out what market you're gonna be in okay you wanna find your niche that you're gonna be marketing to just to give you ideas, the top niches are in the health, wealth, and relationship niches. Those are billion dollar niches. And then you could drill down even further and try to target the sub niches. So for example, under health, there's weight loss, there's yoga, there's health for seniors. So basically try to find something that resonates with you. Okay, so these are the main niches. Now if you can't find a niche that you're passionate about that are in these three main niches don't sweat it you know as long as you find something that you're passionate about that's what counts because when you when you're running a business in a niche that you're passionate about it'll be a lot more enjoyable for you and basically you'll understand how your customers think and you'll have something in common with your customers and you'll be able to communicate better with your customers and that's very important especially when you're writing emails promoting affiliate products to your list now there are various types of products that you can create you can write an ebook you can create video tutorials you can create software products and actually most people just outsource the creation of software products for the obvious reasons okay you could also create audiobooks and there are probably other types of products that you create that I haven't listed on here. Okay, now when you're writing an ebook and you want to get ideas, what you could do is look at the table of contents of other books and look at the chapter titles so that you could get ideas of what to write about. You could also give some chapter titles of other books that you want to get ideas from and just give those chapter titles to a ghostwriter and they could use that as a guideline when writing your book okay another way you could create an info product is to interview somebody especially if you do not have the credentials okay you could hire or you could interview somebody with the credentials in your niche somebody that is seen as an authority or someone who has some success or experience in your niche and lastly another way to create your own products is through video tutorials and with video tutorials you can do what I'm doing right now is where you just put in a title right here and then just have bullet points and then just talk about that topic okay and as for tools there are several free tools you can find online and of course there are paid tools which are of higher quality and the one that I use is Camtasia which I highly recommend but you can also do your own research and if you're in a tight budget you can start with a free screencast video tool for now. To sell your product, you need a really good sales letter. Now, I'm not going to go in depth of how to write a sales letter in this video, but the four main parts of a sales letter are the headline, the three questions, bullet points, and your offer. Those are the main components. Now, of course, there are several other components, but if you want to write a quick sales letter, those are the four main components that you want to focus on or outsource somebody to at least edit what you have written in these four components. So these four components, the first one is the headline, which is probably the most important component of a sales letter. And the headline should comprise of a benefit or a problem and also the time it takes to gain that benefit or solve the problem of your target 
customer. Now, the three questions should address the problems that your customers are facing. So for example, if they want to lose weight, the first question could be, have you tried all the diets out there and you're still not losing weight? So that's just an example question, okay? And let me just go back to the headline. Uh, let's give an example for that. So uh, let's say it is a weight loss product that you're promoting. The headline could be how to gain, or uh, sorry, how to lose 10 pounds in five days without dieting. Okay, so I've mentioned a benefit in there, how to lose 10 pounds or how many pounds I said there, and also the time frame. Okay, now let's go to the other component, which is the bullet points. So the bullet points is where you list the answers to the three questions. So the answers of how you're gonna solve the problem, also other benefits that your product is gonna provide. Okay, and then of course the last component is your offer where you talk about your offer and so on. Now with that said, if you don't want to go through writing a sales letter, uh, you could hire a copywriter to write it for you. Oh, and of course you could also uh, learn how to write your own sales letter. There's several books and courses on how to write sales letters. Okay, uh, another option for you is to buy software that creates sales letters for you and one software that I use is Scriptal. I'm not sure if it's still for sale um, but there are several other software products out there uh, you're gonna have to do your research and see uh, which software products are out there but there are always software products out there being released that helps you create sales letters. The great thing about selling your own products is that now you're gonna have customers on your list that you can continually promote affiliate products to and once you have customers you know they're these people are proven to buy they've, they've already or basically you've already earned their trust and they're most likely to buy from you again okay so compare this to a list of freebie seekers because a lot of marketers out there they spend a lot of time effort and money building a list by giving away free items they have what you call a squeeze page where they offer something for free in return for the prospects email address and a lot of the times you know actually yeah a lot of the times people don't even give their actual email address nowadays okay so a lot of people are building lists that are full of fake email addresses okay so at least with a buyers list you have people that are proven um, to to buy something from you they're already proven to take out their credit card and the rule of thumb is a buyer is worth around 10 times 10 to 20 times more than a freebie seeker okay so now how do you go about promoting affiliate products now that you're getting all these buyers on your list so what you need is an autoresponder tool such as get response or aweber those are the most popular autoresponder tools out there so what these tools do is they help you manage your list and also automate uh, sending out emails to your list okay and now how often do you promote affiliate products to your list it varies um, now at for myself, I'm in the internet marketing niche. I usually try to send an email every day. Okay, now of course, you're going to have people unsubscribe. That's why you continually have to build your list and basically get f new, fresh leads into your list. Okay, so that's why with the blueprint, you continually have to promote or create new products. Of course, there's other list building methods out there, but when you create products and sell your own products, you are getting fresh buyers more responsive people into your list okay so now where do you find affiliate products to promote um, now if you're in the internet marketing niche such as myself there's jvzoo warrior plus and then there's clickbank for almost any type of niche out there so this is one of the top affiliate networks out there is clickbank and then there are also dozens of other affiliate networks out there 
that you just just do a Google search and you will find one that um, has products that are suitable for your list.